Well, there have been sensational developments in the Rouse Avenue court. Remember, the hearing began close to an hour ago in uh, the Ahmadmi Party Supremo Arvind Kejriwal's remand. The Enforcement Directorate's lawyer, ASG Raju, has told the court that Arvind Kejriwal was the kingpin of the entire liquor gate scam. That's the biggest takeaway so far. For the first time, the Ahmadmi Party Supremo being labeled as the kingpin of the liquor gate scam. The ASG also tells the court that Arvind Kejriwal was instrumental in policy formulation and implementation and that he sought kickbacks from the South Group for favors. The ED also told the court that BRS MLC K Kavita offered the Ahmadmi Party 300 crore rupees. 45 crore rupees were used by the Ahmadmi Party in its election campaign for the state of Goa. In fact, to buttress its charges, the ED is also citing statements of approvers, CDR records and much more. Right now, the ED continues to submit uh, its arguments, continues to make its arguments, make its submissions in the Rouse Avenue court. Bhavtosh and Priyank continue to stay on with us. Bhavtosh, to you first. Big, big charge being leveled by the Enforcement Directorate in the Rouse Avenue court. Several middlemen have been spoken of, several approvers have been spoken of. The evidence that the Enforcement Directorate has managed to collect and gather so far is being submitted by the ED in the court. But most importantly, calling Arvind Kejriwal the kingpin of the liquor gate probe. Or the liquor gate case, I beg your pardon. Yes, Christine. Yes, uh, Christine, in fact, they have called him a key conspirator, a key con a a person who against whom the entire Ellis scam uh, revolves. Uh, he is probably the 16. Uh, he is the 16 person to be arrested, and uh, he he uh, according to the enforcement arcade was a person who allegedly demanded along with the money Sisodia around uh, 100 crore rupees from South Group, which was headed by K Kavita. In fact, in the submissions that have been made, our uh, legal uh, correspondent uh, Ramay Krishna is inside. Uh, he has in fact told us that uh, additional solicitor general S V Raju, who is one of the senior most uh, law officer in the country. He has, uh, Raju has said that K. Kavita had called uh, M.S. Reddy, who is Vaisa CP MP, and uh, when Reddy went to meet uh, K. Kavita at her residence, that is at K. Kavita's residence, she told him that Arvind Kejriwal had asked her to give 100 crore rupees. Accordingly, Reddy was asked to arrange 50 crore rupees. Now, the South Group, uh, those who don't know, consists of uh, K. Kavita, P. Sharad Reddy, M.S. Reddy. Now, M.S. Reddy's son, uh, Raga Muganta, was arrested by the enforcement directorate primarily because his company was a manufacturer of uh, liquor. Uh, in the excise policy, the idea was that manufacturer would not enter into the retail business. Contrary to that, the, uh, the, uh, the manufacturer uh, entered into retail business and they got two of the retail zones. Now, Raga was arrested. He then turned approver in this case. A pardon was given to him. In his statement, uh, Raga claimed that he was present in the meeting in which 100 crore rupees was being discussed. We can pull out his statement. Uh, when K. Kavita was arrested, that statement became part of the remand note of the enforcement directorate. So S.V. Raju is basically telling the court what all has happened in the probe that started in uh in August 2022 and what led to arrest of, K, uh, of Arvind Kejriwal. ED has demanded uh, a 10 days custodial remand of Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, Christine, this comes a day before uh, K. Kavita will uh, remands get over and uh, on Saturday uh, K. Kavita will be produced in the court and it's likely that uh, enforcement directorate will be asking for further custody of K. Kavita because they it could be possible that they want to confront K. Kavita with Arvind Kejriwal because they both represent two sides. One would, uh, one is the Aam Army Party side and uh, K. Kavita is in fact heading the South Group. Okay, all right. Thanks for that, Bhavto. Stay on with us. Let me take in a word from Priyank as well. Uh, Priyank, you know, these are submissions being made by the Enforcement Directorate. We're yet to hear from Arvind Kejriwal's side on what side... What is his side of the story? Amidst these very sensational claims, you know, we do know how the legal battle slowly is turning out for Arvind Kejriwal. At this point in time, given the submissions so far that have been made by the Enforcement Directorate, would you say that uh, there seems to be some sort of trouble in that sense brewing for Arvind Kejriwal, the manner in which the arguments are headed? 
Uh, yes, Sati, everything is not going in favor of Arvind Kejwal. If you look at the initial round of argument which has been uh, submitted by ASG, uh, SV Raju. Uh, but uh, what we are getting to know that Arvind Kejwal is also not feeling well. Uh, he uh, had gone to the restroom twice since the time this hearing has begun. And he is uh, sweating. Uh, by, by his so clothes are totally soaked in uh, sweat. This is what we are getting to know. So certainly Arvind Kejwal is not feeling comfortable while he listening to all these arguments. And uh, there could be other health reasons also uh, that can be told by the doctors itself. Uh, but looking at the kind of allegation which has been made by the enforcement directorate and the submission, which Bhakto has already told you to our viewers, it is quite clear that uh, the Amani party knew it for the fact that since Arvind Kejwal was a convener, and uh, when the ED is clearly stating that uh, this policy was made uh, by Arvind Kejwal, Manish Shodhya and Sanjay Singh, and K. Kavita was given the role to take out money from uh, the liquor lobby, and not even that, the uh, percentage of the profit was also supposed to be given to the Amani party as a, a part Part of kickback. Then the mention of 41 crore rupee to be uh, rooted through Hawala transaction certainly lands this uh, particular case under the Prevention of Money Laundry Act. Uh, that money was the changing, exchanging hand uh, through illegal route. And everything being done, 16, 15 people being arrested before the Adindh Kejwal was finally arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. And him being called the key cause uh, certainly gives a picture that ED uh, most likely will get uh, the remand from the concerned court. Because, uh, Christine, uh, we have to remember that none, none of these accused have got bail from the court. Uh, those accused who were arrested are still languishing in jail, uh, which also includes the top leaders of Amani Party, uh, Sanjay Singh, Manish Shodhi, and Satyanjan has recently been once again sent back to the jail. Uh, so Azim Kejwal knows this fact very well, that since the ED has arrested him, and uh, K. Kavita, who had meeting with uh, these uh, key people who have given their statement against Azim Kejwal, like Raghav Manguntha Reddy, then certainly the case is not turning out to be in favor of Azim Kejwal, and it's most likely that he will be confronted with the enforcement directorate. And he, him being... Uh, uh, you know, uh, an officer from, uh, from the revenue department knows this fact very well that the section PMLA of uh, the uh, uh, act is clearly establishing that any statement is, which is being given before the concerned IO can be admissible before the court. So legally also the ED's uh, paperwork has become so strong because of these sections of PMLA uh, that it would be very difficult for the individual counsel to defend that. Uh, the legal strategy which has been told to us by one of the legal uh, aid of Armani party that they will be contesting this arrest as a part of illegal arrest where, where Arvind Kejwal was not given time. All the procedure which was uh, given by, uh, uh, by taken by the enforcement rate was wrong. But the ASD has clearly stated that we have arrested him under section 19, 1 and 2 of the PMLA Act. Okay, all right. Bhaktosh, you know, the the manner in which the enforcement directorate began with its submission could not have gone unnoticed for anyone, especially in the newsrooms. We saw, saw how the uh, ASG began by talking about Arvind Kejriwal being directly involved in the formulation of the policy to how he was involved in handling the proceeds of crime. Also talks about how it was Arvind Kejriwal himself who demanded uh, the kickback, spoke of Vijay Nair as well, how closely associated he was uh, to Arvind Kejriwal through the course of the implementation of this policy and, you know, the several dealings that took place around the policy itself. Key conspirator, kingpin, those are some of the very strong words which have been used by the enforcement directorate. While this hearing is ongoing within the courtroom, we're seeing the ED make these very sensational charges and the enforcement directorate has sought a 10-day custody. That's going to be a big, big setback if things are headed in that direction. <laughs> Uh, Christine, the fact is that till yesterday, Arvind Kejriwal was not an accused uh, either in the case of the Central Bureau of Investigation or in the case of uh, Enforcement Directorate. Though, having said that, his name continuously appeared in the various remand notes and on Monday, he was in fact virtually named as an accused in the uh, in the Enforcement Directorate press statement that was issued at around 6 p.m. Uh, the Enforcement Directorate started issuing his summons from November 2023 onwards to be precise on 2nd of November 2023 onwards. Uh, Kejriwal always uh, tried to circumvent this issue he always claimed that why summons are being issued to him, though he himself is in IRS officials, those who arrested him are also IRS officials. Uh, Kejriwal asked why he is being summoned, whether he is being summoned as a convener of uh, Aam Admi Party or he is being summoned as the CM of Delhi. Uh, ED in the courtroom today clarified or in fact told uh, 
his counsel as well as Arvind Kejriwal that they are looking at both the possibility as CM of Delhi. He, in fact, uh, changed the policy formulation of excise policy 2021-22 and as national convener of Aam Admi Party, the alleged kickbacks went to the party. So both as CM, he, in fact, is an accused in this case as a national convener of Aam Admi Party, big trouble for Aam Admi Party, primarily because uh, the kickbacks went to the Aam Admi Party, 100 crore rupees, of which 45 crore rupees was used to fight election campaign in Goa. There are some uh, direct charges against Aam Admi Party leaders like Manish Sisodia as well as against Sanjay Singh, where ED claims that they also received personal kickbacks between uh, one and a half to two and a half crore rupees, though Aam Admi Party as well as Sanjay Singh and Manish Sisodia have denied these charges. But when the bail application came up before the court, the, these points were in fact highlighted or uh, in fact pointed out by the lower court. Uh, in case of Arvind Kejriwal, again, uh, what the uh, ED is saying is that he was part of a conspiracy along with Vijay Nair. Vijay Nair was the person who was virtually working as a person in close coordination with other uh, members of the South group and was telling them that policy, excise policy 2021-2022 will be changed in a manner it will benefit them and pro consequently profit margin also increased from 5% to 12% to benefit the uh, to the wholesaler so the money directly comes uh, the kick so that they can recoup uh, the kickbacks. That was the whole idea behind the excise policy, not to prevent any kind of cartelization. It led to cartelization. The MRP or the maximum retail price of the alcohol never went down in the capital for eight months as long as this policy was in the capital.